You like stable diffusion. You like being an AI artist. You like generating beautiful art. But man, the eyes in your art are so bad you feel like stabbing your own eyes. Don't worry, this is a very common problem a lot of beginner AI artists have. And I'm going to tell you how to solve it with three easy methods. You can use either of these three methods based on your requirements, so make sure to pay attention. Let's go. All right, first method, hires.fix. First, type your prompt, type your negative prompts, hit generate, have a seizure after seeing how bad your eyes are, and now go click the hires.fix button right here. You'll get a list of parameters. Should you care about these? Yep, just a few. The upscale by box here says how much we want it upscaled by. A value of two multiplies width and height by two. You could also manually set the width and height here as well. The upscaler here determines the upscaler. If you're generating anime art, choose RS Grin 4X plus Anime 6B one, or else just choose the normal RS Grin one. Set the higher steps to exactly half of your sampling steps, but this isn't a must. A lower value will consume more of your VGA though. Keep denoising strength the same. Hit generate. This is going to take some time. Okay, there we go. Now she's got more beautiful eyes than your imaginary girlfriend. <laughs> Method number two. If your VGA is about four gigs and time is something you'd love to have plenty of, then this will work for you. Go to civet.ai, type the keyword eyes in the search box, hit enter. Now you get a list of Laura's related to eyes. This will force the eyes of your artwork to look like a particular style. We got beautiful eyes, anime eyes, Sampaku eyes, and yeah, even this. I'm gonna go with this Laura. Don't worry, the Chinese letters translate to big watery eyes. Download the Laura, place it in your Laura's folder, write your prompt, select the Laura button. Button. Click on the Laura, see it load, hit generate, and boom, now she has lovely eyes. Make sure to adjust the weight of the Laura in here in order to get the desired effect. But don't put a very high value or you'll end up with an abomination like this. Method number three. This is something I rarely recommend, but use it as a last resort. Most of the time it doesn't work, but it's worth giving a shot since no external resources or extra VGA memory is needed. Write the prompt, hit the restore faces button right here, hit generate. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but here's something you you could try out. Go to settings, go to face restoration, and here you can specify which technique you could use to restore faces. There's a lot of machine learning behind these two settings, but in very simple terms, code former is good fix bad quality image, and GFPGAN is good for creating realistic faces, in case you want realism in your art. Here's one image with code former, and here's one with GFPGAN. Like I said, use it as a last resort, but it does work at times. Those are my three methods, and thanks for watching. Like and subscribe for more quick tips like this. This, and I'll see you all in the next video.